church Sunday. Rained all night. Tornado warning in effect. Tornadoes generally don't have lightning. Mumbles man may get ready and go. Me too. We're waiting for the battery to charge. I forgot to charge a battery on a CTX. And I got news. News. 9.8 grams. I told you yesterday. I found the guy. He's coming by in about 10 or 15 minutes to pick it up. This Granby High School ring. It took a few days to find William Allen Stafford. He's a doctor now in Dade City, Florida. His girlfriend lost this ring 50 years ago. 1963, I guess. Or four, I don't know. Whenever 50, well, it's a 63 class ring. Whenever 50 years ago from that is when she lost it. So it's been sitting right there on the bay, just waiting for somebody to come by and find it. And that sheer blind luck factor comes in again. Okay, I got to put the CTX charger on. I'll get back to you. We'll take a walk over the ramp and see what it looks like. It's, it's right much wind. I got a feeling we won't be able to work here today. If we can get out at all. It hasn't rained yet, but like I said, we had a gully washer all night. I expected all this plywood to be gone. But so far it hadn't gone anywhere yet. I mean, by the wind, you know. Blowed it away, or blowed it across the street, or etc. Boy, it looks terrible, don't it? I like it already. Too bad, too rough. But hell, I only need a half hour, right? Or less. I'm, I can't get it. Look at it. God, I figured it was. I could tell by the trees in my yard. Tides low in about uh, two hours. Be perfect, too. Look at them waves. That looks like the ocean. Might have to go to the land of the Nada. That's just not right. Not right at all. I see some raindrops. I better hurt scurry back. A report just moments ago from uh, the land of Nada. They're sitting in their car waiting the storm out down there. They must have the beach closed. But the guy, you know, Jim and his wife, uh, calls to the soil. He texts me and said that uh, there's a lot of coins around. He ran into Bob Shark Hunter and Bob Shark Hunter had three rings, but he didn't say what kind they were. Uh, I don't know, but I'm not going all the way down there. Not today, anyway. My tie's low. An hour before, already been low, so I'm pretty sure I'm going to stick around here. I'll give you a report in a minute. Look at that flag. It's blowing. But it's dropped out. And if it's dropped out just a little bit, you know where I'm going. The sun is out. There's a little. Sh when I was getting the gas, we had a little brief shower for about two minutes, and it went right away. Oh, it looks better than it did this morning. I can tell that already from here. But there's still some waves. It wouldn't be beautiful, but it's workable. That's all I need to see. I'll see you in ten minutes. Damn, in 10 minutes the waves have picked up. But the tide is really off. You can see how, we had a big storm last night. You can see it came way up high. Look where it came, washed all that sand, that grass. I may be able to hunt up kind of high and find something. Let's see how it goes as I go to the east. Beach traffic that was up here yesterday and the day before, gone. It's like flat everywhere. I don't know about all this. It's 
rougher than I thought. Breeze up a little bit. If I can get fist outside there without getting killed, I might be all right. Let's see if we can rush out there real fast. Come on, Gladys. Come on, legs. Hey, hey, hey. Man, we got a nice drop off right here. This is where I need to be, right here. I don't know, I don't know. Look at this ticket right here. Hey, 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 hey. Woo, baby, I didn't need that already. Damn. Hey, hey, hey. Got a hit right here, 36. Probably a penny, stand by. Well, I'm out, outside of most of the big ways now. I got a, a dime and a penny so far. The bottom is really uneven. That's a good sign though. The flash. I'm right up to my neck. I had to move inshore a little bit. I couldn't work out there. The waves were picking me up, moving me all around. I couldn't stay on the target. I dug another penny, I think. I don't. I need to be out a little further, I think. But it ain't too bad. It's just not. Get a wild, wild a rogue every now and then, like this baby right here. And this baby right here. have come back to visit me. That one right there. Looks rough over there. And I got about three quarters of a mile to go to get home. If I go home. I'll hunt up here a little bit. Zigzag in and out. See what it looks like. Well, right there we dug a 1208. Stainless, titanium, some of that new age crap. Got a cross on it, got an inscription on it. My, my prescription sunglasses are, are still in Gig Master's boat, so I can't tell you what it says inside, if it says anything inside. Okay, bring it to scoop. 12, 12.
Stand by. Hey, I mean a nickel. I dug a couple times here. One little stretch right here where it, it ain't too bad. But it's only about a block long. I see some people out there. And the waves are kind of staying offshore. This is right where the entrance way to the big oak tree is where we used to, where we first started hunting this place. Chris would bring me down here and drop me off and I'd hunt my way home. And that's how I found the, the hooker hole going home from here. About this deep. I'm about waist deep now. Well, just under the, you can see where it is. It ain't bad, it ain't too bad right in this one spot. The waves are off there, you see them? I don't know if there's anything in here, but we'll hunt around here a while and see. At least you can work here. Fish here. I got him. Uh oh, we got a target, I think. I can find it again. Thirty one. Try to get it out. Ten minutes, things have changed. I'm heading for home. Three quarters of a mile to go. I don't like it. You know the old saying, though. You're going to be dumb. You got to be tough. Oh, got to stop. Thirty-two. Well, I just dug a gray matter. I forgot to tell you that. I was taking that as a good sign. Now this has gotten choppy now. This is probably a bottle cap. I don't know. Now it sounds okay. If I can ever get it out of there. Might have it now. That's what I thought it was, a penny. Ah, look at that piece of crap. Looks like that thing is moving to the west, northwest. It looks like Hampton or downtown Norfolk might be catching the devil. It's not coming my way, it don't look like. I got a hit here, I think. I gotta go back and investigate. Nope. Okay, I'll get back to you. Well, I made it. Just in the nick of time. If you can see, my truck is just starting to sprinkle. Not that I'm afraid of water, you understand. Oh, oh. However, I am home. Rancho Mac. I'll get back to you. There you go, the roundup. Lord's Prayer Ring. That's a good ring to find on Surf Church Sunday. I didn't know what this was when I first found it. It's the ball end of a ballpoint pen. Now half a gray matter. 
Okay, see you tomorrow. Well, the guy just came by and picked up his ring. He was happy. His wife was more happy. But he's had a replacement. He said, that's the third one. He, no, that's the second one. He, he, he lost his first one cleaning some fish. Slipped off his finger. And then he lost the one that I found and had another. So he's got two now. One still missing. Okay. We're having salmon and low tide Tim is coming over and bringing something. Stand by. What kind of salmon is this? Coho. Coho salmon. Silver coho. Silver coho. Wild I caught it this morning before I went. I detected in the river. Should we heat this up? I think so. And that's chicken. What? Oh, it's goulash, right? No. What is it? Succotash. Succotash. There you go. Eileen brought that. Him and his wife. Supper time. Supper time, Big O' Jack. Are you hungry? Are you hungry, baby scooter? Where's Boo Boo at? He's hiding, I guess. That's Big Old Mama. She's hungry, too. What's your Big Old Mama? Cauliflower mattress. Might need the IRS calling back. Probably. <laughs> Suck a dash. Brother. Mmm.